big, big moment as uh, Nakamura needs to show whether he's in the mood for a fight. Yeah, and uh, we are going to see if... Okay, handshake. It is showtime, folks. And what is Hikaru going to open with? And he picks up the e-pawn and uh, we'll see whether Fabiano does the same. And he absolutely does. Okay, so uh, E4, which Nakamura has been relying on a lot this tournament. And Fabiano has delved uh, into the Sicilian of late. Of course, he released a uh, very popular uh, opening course on a branch of the Spanish recently. So I'm interested to see, okay, it's the Petrov defense, uh, not any uh, Spanish sidelines there. And the, yeah, Nakamura brings out his other knight, not allowing any main lines. It's the four knights variation, the four knights game. And it's the four knights scotch after <laughs> this pawn push in the center, known as a very solid whisper it quietly, drawish line that Nakamura is employing here. It does have a touch of venom though. Mm. <laughs> but maybe not at this level. Not in recent times, unfortunately. Yeah. Lots right. of forcing variations here. Yes, and I do remember that in Norway chess, Ari and Ari used this particular variation to almost force a draw against Magnus Carlsen. He later apologized to the, <laughs> to the crowd and said, I'm sorry, but you know what to do when you're facing Magnus Carlsen. But yeah, the bishop now comes out to uh, pin the knight against the king. And now there is a threat against the e pawn. And there we see the knights trade off. This is all very standard. Bishop will come to d3. Well, this opening, at least uh, the four knights these days, at the, at the top level, as you mentioned, it's used when you want to eliminate all risk. Uh, certain variations, you get a small, oh, a small pull. You can put a bit of pressure on black's position due to white's superior pawn structure. But uh, everything's been worked out these days in this opening, especially because everything is so forcing as we see knights off the board. The center opening up, black has two threes, even the main moves here. Uh, you can simply recapture the pawn. You can even just castle because uh, you have big threats against the white king in the center. Or if you really want to force the issue, you can play moves like bishop to g4. I'm expecting to see black castle first of all, and uh, you can make that decision a bit later. There we go. He does get his key to safety. The threat of a check is too big. White needs to get castled himself. As Nakamura does. We're already eight moves in after one minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Players uh, yeah, blitzing at this point. They are blitzing. And what happens next? A big moment. If Fabiano plays c takes d5, the game will go on quite a long time. Uh, we'll see some strategic maneuvering uh, where Black has an isolated A pawn long term, so maybe slightly worse than any endgame. But uh, okay, this is promising. I was slightly afraid we'd see Bishop g4 and lots of uh, draws there at the top level. Fabiano, uh, yeah, he chooses the more fighting approach okay. as Black. Yes, he actually develops, well, pushes this H pawn one square forward. And, well, according to my old knowledge, this is actually to secure the F3 square for the Queen. Mm -hmm. Because right. uh, I, I did actually win a game a long, long time ago by, uh, after the Queen came to F3, they forgot to go H3. And somehow you just uh, trap the Queen with a, an eventual Bishop to G4. And now that has been cut out, H3, a nice waiting move. And uh, Fabiano has various ways to approach this. He can simply play Rook to E8 if he wants to cut out any uh, pins. I mean, it's still winning That's for true. White. It's yeah. uh, still a two-point advantage. We could be seeing the final throws of this game. He's got 45 seconds left. Yep. And Monster how many threat on the board. How many moves played? 34? 34. Or oh, this will be his 34th, Fabiano. Still seven moves to make at this point. He doesn't look too confident about his chances. Yeah. Fabiano visibly upset with himself. It's just been such a smooth game. Opening advantage from Nakamura. Great opening preparation. Just mm -hmm. Stop the way, yeah. Birds chirping, I hear my name. Grass spirits are alive. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. We'll never be alone. 
it's gonna come The birds have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back Never let the pace slip. He's still got 26 minutes on his clock. <laughs> 16 seconds and... He moves his bishop as far away as possible, but surely this is going to end in disaster. There's going to be all sorts of discovered attacks once the white rook moves against the black rook. Yeah. Do you get the check? Do you kind of move? Do you just bank it and take some pawns? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the question. I would be tempted to go rook c7 and then just... Pile up on it, F pawn as well. Yeah, I think this pawn, if it drops, would signal the end mm -hmm. of the game. Uh, the F pawn. You could actually win it by force now if you wanted. You can give a check. You know, just come back. Three, four. You're attacking the rook. You're attacking the F pawn. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, three pass pawns together would be sufficient, but there might be something more. The idea is that he, uh, Fabiano, if his bishop is attacked, he wants to defend it with his rook and survive. If the bishop is attacked from this angle, he will defend it with his rook, saving both pieces at once. But now the f-pawn can drop. Yeah, now the f-pawn can drop. I think everything's just lost, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it's just a case of whether Hikaru can find an immediate knockout blow, or whether this game continues 2 move 40 and beyond. Oi, oi, oi. What a game by Hikaru Nakamura. Yeah, just perfect all the way through, right? great opening strategy then put the pressure on and just pushed Fabiano into making some mistakes and we see a move rook to g7 yeah, he's not letting the pace uh, subside here he gives a check forces the black king to move and what will he do next will he now take this pawn maybe uh, the one thing you might hesitate from is taking the rooks because opposite color bishops always have some drawing chances although here you will get two connected pass pawns in the near future for example bishop c7 this looks winning as well, to be honest, yeah. if the pawn moves, you just bypass and king g3, step, step keep, by step. Keep moving up the board, yeah. Even this looks completely winning, so... Actually, it might be the most professional way. You minimise your risk. It's very professional, Hikaru. You yeah. always do uh, what it takes. So no more than that <laughs> to win his games. Well, yeah, minimal calculation. Uh, just choose the path that you know the opponent has zero counterplay, zero hope. Uh, the evaluation bar might say it's totally winning in multiple <laughs> ways. You can pick up pawns, for example, create your own pass pawn, but why allow any glimmer of hope? Yeah. And What's he going for? Looks like he was reaching for the black rook. Is he going to take it? He does take it with his bishop. Nice angle there that we saw. <laughs> and we're heading down that line. If yep. black's pawn were back on f5, it would be far more tricky, but um, here he's simply going to attack that pawn as he <laughs> clears dust from the board. And there we go. Bishop g5. Yep. Caruana, oh, Giri sends blood here. Uh, Giri perched over the shoulder. He's got to play f3, Fabiano. And last trap, do not take that pawn. It wasn't captured, of course. If white had taken it, then easier to stop two uh, disconnected pawns. This might even be a draw, but after g4, it's over. King g3, the pawns are rolling. Yeah. And, uh, let's catch up. And uh, the player is just uh, playing very fast now. The plans are very straightforward. I think there's one final trap before you get ambi ambitious with the pawns on the king side. Perhaps secure the placement of uh, the pawn on a four. Put it on a dark square. Yeah. I think the clinical move here would be bishop to d2. Yeah. I don't even think you need to do that. Actually. Yeah, bishop yeah. d2. Played it. Yeah, just stop the black c pawn in its tracks. Yeah. Put the bishop on c3. Put the pawn on a5 and push, and he wins. <laughs> Hikaru Nakamura, Fabiano resigns. Yeah, Hikaru Nakamura with seven and a half points is now the sole leader for the moment. And there you can see the two players just a 